Okay. I think it's fixed now. I hope they'll come back and find out that I have a new stream. Three. Six. Okay, now it's going. Sorry, guys. I don't know what was happening there. It's a very stupid phone. Very stupid app. I think we should be back permanently now. My f Okay, 30 viewers. There we go. Uh, my phone was being stupid. It was playing back the live stream that I had opened on my YouTube app on the phone because I have YouTube Premium now and it was playing in the background and that was creating a lot of interference. All right. Uh, so welcome guys. This is the first time that the turbine's gonna spin up for it, like ever. And first time making power too. I spent most of the morning addressing the, the lid of the turbine housing there and some of the plumbing and electrical to get this uh, ready to go. And I also have Andy here. You guys will recognize him from the water wheel video. And we're gonna try spinning this up. Uh, so this has, let's see if I can get down in here. Nope, I have to take it off of the tripod mount. This is stupid. Just go handheld. Okay. In there we have a Pelton runner. This runner is the one that Spencer Langston of Langston Alternative Power gave me. And I have a Mott Energy rotor on the back, or alternator generator thing. This is a three-phase permanent magnet AC uh, generator. And then that's three wires that I'm just running to this engine cord going to a rectifier. So the first thing we have to do, you see the output is not connected there. We have to verify that the voltage isn't so high that it's going to fry the charge controller that I have. And we've been having troubles getting the Bluetooth connected on that, so we may not get any power readings today. Uh, and connections here, uh, just a refresher, guys. I'll oh, see the ice collection there is melting a little bit. Up there, 280 feet above me vertically is the spring. I just measured it's flowing around five gallons per minute right now. And it's uh, 120 PSI, although you're not going to see any pressure. Okay, come on. You're not going to see any pressure right now because I have the valve turned off uh, on that guy there. So let's, let's turn it on. I'm going to turn this on slowly and get the phone down here so you guys can see it and I can see it too. interesting to note it's it's speeding up so I have the valve fully open it's been open for probably 20 seconds now and it's increasing in velocity as the bearings and the grease warms up and everything runs in let's check on the back side here I see a lot of water spraying out okay that water's coming out of this hole here the plastic that I have. The plastic has holes in it. And like there's a, a hole here too. So that'll be letting stuff out. And it's surprisingly quiet. Uh, what volts are we getting? About 120. Okay, I don't know if we're going to be able to use that. <laughs> we're getting 120 volts uh, DC right off of this. So I don't know if we can even connect it to the charge controller. That'll that's too high for this. That, see that 75? That's too many volts. 
So I cannot connect it to the charge controller right now to see what sort of power output this is going to make. But it's certainly working. I guess we could uh, maybe try getting a gallons per minute on there. The nozzle that I have on there is the adjustable one that you spin on the end and it changes the shape of the jet. It'd probably spin even faster and make more voltage if the fan was disconnected. Yeah, I can, I can feel quite a bit of air coming through here. Somebody's saying that I should turn the valve down so we're below 75 volts, and yet, I think we can do that. So I'm going to turn the valve. Okay. <laughs> the voltage is increasing as it runs in, so we're up to 129. Going to get up to 130 volts out of it DC. So, do not touch. <laughs> do not touch that. So I'm going to turn the valve a little bit so we can decrease our volts. Yeah, so it's at 130. Okay, I think that should be enough volts, or low enough volts that we could connect the charge controller. So I'm going to shut it off, and we're going to connect the charge controller. And then see how many watts we can pull out of this. Now this is just a temporary setup uh, for now. Yeah. Um, well, heck, you could just hold it. Okay. That'll work too. So I have it turned off. There shouldn't be anything live here. I'm just going to connect this up. How many viewers are we up to? 180. Uh-huh. Wow. That's more than double my last. not working well. I think it should be a good enough connection now. Yeah, that's definitely snug. So we can try um, powering the charge controller which will power the battery and then there's a, a light it's a like a hundred volt incandescent we can plug in as a load. Although I don't think it'll need it because the battery is pretty dead. So let's uh, Connect this back up. We got quality. Quality issues. People, yeah. I don't know what to do about that exactly. No, they they're happy to be seeing it. I think. Yeah. How did you get this in here so it didn't fall out last time? I kind of just had it resting on it. Yeah. I mean, I could hold it if you need me to. If we had a little bit of tension going this way, that should hold it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. All right, so I'm going to open the valve slowly, and we're going to try to keep that below uh, 70 volts, because that's the maximum for the charge controller. Actually, 75. Oh. <laughs> okay, the, the charge controller is apparently um, taking whatever load it can right now, and that's why it's going 
so slow. I have the valve full open. I hope the polarity's good. That might be burning something out. Let's turn it off, because that's too slow. See, it was reading um, positive mm. volts uh -huh. last time, and this time I think I mean, it's showing negative. The polarity should be good. What's the, what's the battery doing? See, that's only 11.7, so something goofy is going on here. It should be working. I wonder if maybe this is burned out. Um, and I, I wasn't able to find my other one. I wonder if it's... It's not even warm. So I don't know what it was doing. Well, let's uh, disconnect it, and I'll work on troubleshooting this later off of the live stream, and you guys will see it in a future video. Uh, you want to hold that, and I'll... I'll just disconnect this, and then we'll let it spin up again. Oh, well that probably doesn't help, but that'll serve the same purpose. <laughs> I don't think that was the issue. We'll just turn it back on. And... Get a bolted greeting. That's fun. I know voltage and everything. We need to know the amps for it to be useful. You know, it might actually be negative for reverse polarity because this is connected the right way. And it's showing negative. And it's showing negative. So we might just need to switch that around maybe. Yeah, we might just have to switch it. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Yeah, that's probably why it was only getting like 0.7 volts, because we were trying to push voltage backwards through the rectifier, and it wasn't liking that. It's something, I don't know. So that's showing negative. So that means the positive act is actually on the right side. Yeah. And the negative is on the left. So yeah, those just need switched around, probably. Okay. So I think we'll end the live stream here, and if we get this working, we'll return so that we can see uh, how many amps and watts this is making, because Volt is only half of the story. And those wires are plugged in the right way, right? It should be black on common, right? I don't right. know. Yeah. Yeah, those are right. Okay. So, all right, guys. We'll be back um, maybe soon. So this was fun, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys around later.